What's up guys? So I'm super excited to share one of the best builds in the entire game for Necromancer for beginners, which is going to be a summoning army build. But on top of that, you're going to be able to be immune to taking any damage. You're going to be untargetable and there's going to be this giant red ball of mist. As long as there's enough targets, as you guys will be seeing here from this little gameplay that I have, basically you activate this ability called blood mist and it's just going to give you corpses. And every single time you explode a corpse, it's going to give you cooldown reduction. Now, as long as you get enough cooldown reduction, this build late game will will dominate and it's going to be one of the most overpowered builds in the entire game. I was really surprised that this did not actually have any patch notes for any nerfs to make it so you couldn't just infinitely upkeep this ability. It is by far one of the most overpowered things that I've ever seen in Diablo 4. It actually might be one of the most OP things in the entire game. So starting right off, let's go over the build in terms of the skills and how we're going to actually uh, gear up because you can't start off playing with the Blood Mist. You're going to need to get a legendary uh, aspect that you're going to apply and then you're going to be able to do that. Till then, we're basically just going to be scaling minions as minions are kind of a fan favorite of the Necromancer. You are a summoner and then basically you're going to be able to eventually get this build where you're just going to melt content. So let's go over the skill tree. From the very beginning, choose whatever skill that you want. Honestly, it doesn't really matter too much. All the Necromancer ones are a little bit weak and um, the reason why is they don't really have a good source of applying vulnerability so the only one that really gives you vulnerability which is a 20 percent chance is acolytes bone splinters pick whatever one that you want though um, honestly reap can give you a decent amount as long as you know how to group up enemies hit them with reap you're just going to get a massive amount of resource so that can be nice you can also uh, generate a corpse with uh, acolytes reap or you can get decomposed only one that really matters though is getting the ability to apply vulnerability or if you're playing in a group which is kind of the point of my uh, two videos which I wanted to drop before the game releases which is beginner friendly if you're playing with someone else that can apply vulnerability pick any skill that you want it doesn't really matter but this is the only one that gives you a consistent way to apply vulnerability from a basic skill next up in terms of the core skills i like blood surge the most the reason why is i know a lot of people are like oh my gosh bone spear is amazing yes bone spear hits pretty good but it goes in a straight line and you're going to still have to activate it multiple times with blood surge i can walk into a giant group of enemies activate it once or twice and clear the entire screen of enemies that is right next to me it's really really good and also applies fortification so it's very tanky and very beginner friendly next up but by the way you're not going to put five points in this asap so again put a few points so you can get vulnerability that's three points here you can put two points into this and you can get the enhanced bone splinters and then you can go right into getting blood surge for the third one and then you can go back later and apply the vulnerability if you want to it's kind of optional but getting enhanced blood surge these are great for survivability especially in the very earlier stages this one you don't have to get earlier on this is going to give you um extra lucky hit uh, for a chance to spawn a corpse which is great because we're going to be infinitely just generating corpses the next thing that you do want to get if you have the legendary aspect you can get blood mist asap and you want to get the ghastly blood mist if you do not have the legendary power do not even get blood mist it's it's a terrible skill overall like it yes it gets you the ability to not take any damage it's great for any world bosses that apply a very large source of poison like a shava and then you can just pop this and you're immune and you're untargetable basically this makes you immune to taking any damage in the game it's the most overpowered thing in the game especially if you can keep it up with basically 100 percent up Time, which you can almost do once you uh, happen to get the legendary power that applies the ability to get cooldown reduction every single time you use corpse explosion but next up once we get into over here like we have the ability to put a point in a corpse explosion i know corpse explosion took a 25 percent damage nerf it doesn't matter it is the best thing in the game corpse explosion has no cooldown has no resource cost other than a corpse so corpse explosion is great get the increased radius get the increased damage against slowed stun or vulnerable enemies and this can actually stack three times so it's a 24 percent more multiplier for damage uh, as long as you have all the conditions met uh, so this is excellent excellent so yeah corpse explosion is still one of the best things in the game alternatively if you want to get these passives you can get the one where if you consume a corpse it's going to generate essence eventually i don't even have a core skill i don't even use anything because this blood mist thing is just the most overpowered thing i've ever seen in like any diablo game but in the very beginning yeah putting five points into blood surge before you get the legendary power or get the cooldown reduction requirements you can still use blood surge it's still arguably in my personal opinion i like it way more than anything else the necromancer has to offer even though they've, they've buffed bone spear and they also buffed blood lance the skills way better in my personal opinion but next up uh getting some of these passives can be okay you don't need to rush these but once you get into uh decrepify over here in this uh, later stages uh, getting De decrepify letting you curse the area uh, having the enemies slowed is great and then on top of that you can make it so enemies uh, hit uh, have a chance to be stunned and then on top of that you have a lucky hit where it's going to actually reduce the active cooldown so it really helps out with the ability to upkeep your blood mist again this ability is just so broken um and you can see i have it up again look i just activate it and everything just pops and i just keep on 
on activating it again and again and again getting just even one one to two second cooldown reduction fantastic and this is the only skill that we are going to be using that will actually have a cooldown but next up over here these are just more passives so while a below 50 percent life you get extra healing that doesn't really matter too much this one doesn't really matter while healthy our blood skills deal more damage we're really here just for this hitting enemies with blood skills has up to 25 percent chance to fortify this is again really good before you have the legendary ability but after you have it you can drop like almost all of these things on this tree this is just when a corpse is formed your skills or your minions get to fortify for some extra life so it's a more survivability again real easy just to apply it uh, i'd probably max that out and drop these once again you get that legendary power but alternatively you could still keep on using blood surge i think it's a fantastic ability this one increased golem damage actually we end up getting all of the increased damage so here's what i would do and again it depends on if you get the legendary power and i know i'm mentioning it several times but it's important to mention if you don't get the legendary power there's a lot of stuff that you may want to get later so get two points into blood splinters then get blood surge put some points into that and then you want to slam your points into the skeletal warrior after getting corpse explosion at least level one so get Corpse Explosion, then max out Skeletal Warrior, get the Skeletal Mage because it's a summoning build, and then next up you want to get the increased damage of your Golem. The rest of the stuff is kind of just more extra additional passives. For the last one, we're getting Kalan's Edict for the key passive. It's going to make it so as long as you haven't taken damage, which we almost never will take damage with this build. Blood Mist with the Corpse Explosion, Legendary Power, most broken thing ever. So uh, we take no damage, it just grants our minions extra attack speed. And then while we have seven or uh, more minions, it's doubled. So 30% increased attack speed for our minions which is great because we're our a summoning build now in terms of the itemization let's go over the gear so on the left side over here uh we have our skeleton mages are going to be able to cast a blizzard every 10 seconds so we can uh, chill the enemies which will apply another debuff so we can deal more damage with the corpse explosion and then we have this aspect of might so basic skills grant us extra damage reduction it's just like one of the best things in the game but you don't really need it because you literally take no damage uh, once you have the legendary power this one extra mages uh, this one over here, while you have seven or more minions, our minions are going to be gaining increased damage reduction. Minions did take a pretty decent nerf, but there's another thing on the skill tree, which I'll get into, that can help out with that. Again, I'll link everything down below so it's fully there. And on top of that, we have the blood getters aspect, so we can extra skeleton warriors, and then the aspect of explosive mist. This is the best thing. If you can have a two-handed weapon, this gets double the stats, which is really good. So basically, you want this. What does this do? Well, when we detonate our corpse explosion, that is also going to give us cooldown reduction uh, with our blood mist. So that's how we infinitely just span the blood mist and just never die and never take damage and never our target uh this is a unique item over here so i don't expect to get this earlier on but if you can get death speakers make it so when you use blood surge we are also going to be able to gain a mini nova on all our minions this is amazing i never got this in the uh, beta i don't even think you can get this to drop certain items don't even drop to like world tier three four but yeah this could be a really good thing to look out for we also have each time one of your summoning minions uh damages enemies they gain extra attacks because there's a minion build so next up we have blood surge nova's echo so it does it again and then we have this offhand where skeletons gain increased damage while they are alive up to 30% after 10 seconds. So that's good. For gems, it's kind of generic sapphires for more crit damage. Then we have rubies for additional life and then skulls because they are the best thing to put in jewelry in the entire game. For our skills, it's kind of up to you what you want to run. Again, I like blood surge earlier on. Later, you can remove this if you want to and you can put your stat points into all defensive stats and all the minion stats if you want to. Blood mist, obviously you need this for the build to run properly, Cor then get corpse explosion and then golem and then decrepify. For our book of the dead we are running additional skirmish warrior for our skeletons for the mages i want the cold one so we can slow them down and also apply extra additional essence if you're not running a core skill which you can drop completely because this build is so insanely powerful then you don't even need the essence you can go for the you know vulnerable that's great too. And then for the golem, I made it so the golem absorbs 15% of the damage you would take. There is another one where it applies vulnerability, but you have another source of vulnerability in the game, but this could be another upgrade eventually if you want to go for this one. And this one also does stun the enemies, uh, but it's kind of up to you. This one actually drains life from nearby enemies to heals itself, so it can actually have a little bit more survivability. So minions did take a pretty big nerf in the game in terms of their survivability. There is one node that I want to mention. Again, I'll link this full thing down below so you guys will have it just in case I was too fast on any of the things that uh, were shown off but there is a very important minion node that you do need to actually get now and that is going to be over here our minions can't lose more than 45 percent of their maximum life from a single damage you either want to put one point into this or three points do not put two points into it it's kind of pointless the reason why you need this is because bosses in the game they do a massive amount of damage and so what happens is your minions kind of die on bosses specifically and if they take 45 percent times two that's 90. now if i put two points into it that's 60. If they take 60, uh, let's say, uh, cause they can't, 
lose more than 60%. So that means that they would take 60%, they can get hit twice and still die. If you put this point in, they have to now get hit three times. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. But that's the reason why you either put one point into it or you put three points into it. Do not put two points into it, okay? The rest of the stuff is just increased minion damage. Uh, as long as you've been healthy, or minions are gonna gain extra attack speed, which, um, yeah, you're always going to be healthy because you're never going to take damage because the Blood Mist is so OP. This is, again, one of the most overpowered builds I think I've seen in the game. Look, I'm just rolling through content, and this is super easy uh, to do. Now, in terms of being able to get more corpses in the game, uh, there's other things with Lucky Hit, so we can actually generate corpses. I don't know if this explains Lucky. Okay, this is a 40% Lucky Hit on Corpse Explosion, which is not a bad number at all. Yeah, this build, absolutely insane for beginner players. So that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the build. I went over the uh, gear, went over all of the uh, other a book of the deads as well so feel free to let me know if you would change anything with this build again the core skill that you activate can be whatever you can remove it completely if you want to another thing i want to mention on the skill tree is if you need to generate corpses on bosses i think decompose is one of the best but as long as you have into some other source of vulnerability, it's going to be excellent. But yeah, it's going to be a great build for beginner players because you can still give your team good damage and you're not going to be taking any damage. So uh, it's going to be excellent for just having minions that exist because Necromancer is really good at single target and, and with... Blood Surge, they're going to be good at, you know, killing all of the trash. And on top of that, with the Corpse Explosion, I mean, it's literally like a trash killer. That's what it's made for. Anyways, hopefully this guide and video helped you guys out. If it did, drop a like on it. If you want to see more content in the future with more Diablo stuff coming out very soon, subscribe to the bell and you'll definitely see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out the pinned comment if you'd like to see more content. Peace out.